everybody, this is Tristan Neiman with Mindful Living Realty. Welcome back to Tristan and his whiteboard live. Today we're going to go over the Rapid City real estate market and for January, kind of give an idea where we're heading here in the next few months. But before that, of course, we've got the joke of the day. Want, want to hear a joke about paper? Never mind, it's terrible. Terrible. Ha, huh, I know you laughed at that one. All right, where are things heading? Rapid City, how are things in January, uh, the January market right now? Got a lot of numbers behind me that I'll go over here just a bit. Don't want to overkill you with numbers, but just to kind of prove my point here uh, right now. So we're looking for what, what is the trend in all Rapid City areas? We're talking about residential, uh, Box Elder, Rapid Valley, all Rapid City area, nothing, you know, Northern Hills, Southern Hills, that kind of thing. So what we can see here is in January, the last four years, we can see this is the number of active listings from 606, 608, 2017 we went down to 519, and then 2018 we're back on tw for, for 571. And, uh, and that's, that, that was taken on the 1st of February, around that time is when that number was taken, because that active is always a fluid number. So also then the sold listings, that, and that will actually be the ones that actually closed in January. So we're looking at November, December under contracts, right? To 98, 95, 102, and then up to 122 here. And over the course of this time, time we've got an average price of 4% going up. Now, January is a weird month. Sundays, we hit the fan running at, at January 1 after the whole holiday season. Last year was crazy. All the realtors were walking around on their hands trying to find something to do. It was just dead, dead quiet, which you can see here, which is why that number is way low. Now, what's interesting here is that this number here, we've got a 10%. If I can get my marker open, that'd be helpful. So this is a 10% increase between here and here. But here, 20% increase. So obviously, we're getting things sold faster than we're coming on the market. Obviously seeing then a inventory problem, which we've had consistently for the past few years. And it looks like we're getting into, into that before right now. So now if I ran a active listings all over Rapid City, how many listings do you think we have right now? I just ran that a few minutes ago. 465 active residential properties. If you're looking for single family, that number is this. That's not very many, especially as we're getting into the spring market. Last year, about February 15th, from whatever reason, when once February hit, February 15th, we were smack dab in spring market. We were having multiple offer scenarios. We're having situations where um, buyers were having troubles finding properties. This year is kind of looking up, looking like we're lining up the same thing. We're having lower inventory. We've got some pent up buyer needs. And in the past week, I've probably received 10 emails from other agents saying, hey, I've got a buyer looking for a property who can't find one. Do you have anything in this area? So we're gonna we're seeing that again, where we're looking to, into spring market being very, very much so a seller's market, being a very tight market, and probably seeing some double and uh, double offers and that kind of thing. So that being all said, if you're thinking about selling your home, don't wait until spring ish. You know, don't wait until March or April to start your start the process. You're very, you might be beneficial to start selling your home now if that's what works for you. So I'd recommend start working on getting your home fixed up, getting the painting done, getting those things done inside while it's cold outside uh, so you can be ready to put your home on the market when you're ready. Now last year, by if you waited until May, it was almost too late. You kind of missed the, the, the meat of the, the spring season. Uh, so don't wait for that. And I just wanted to put these numbers up on the board to showcase that you know, when a realtor tells you, yeah, it's a great time to list. Yeah, you're like, yeah, whatever. Well, yeah, it is. It's a good time to get your home on the market. Buyers, if you're looking at buying a home this spring, good thing for you to do, get prepared. Know what you want. Make sure you're get with your lender. Make sure all that's ready to go. Be prepared to put in a good, strong, solid offer and know where you're at with that. Okay? Let me know if you have any questions or comments uh, let me know below and we'll uh, post some links for you 
I've got my buyer videos and my seller videos on uh, Shirts and Owners Whiteboard Seller and Buyer Videos. It goes through the process for you to help you to explain each part of the process. Hopefully some good information for you there. All right. Thanks for watching. This is Tristan's Whiteboard. We'll talk to you next week. Have a great day.